Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Kate, and I'm a photographer and a mobile photographer. So my journey in mobile photography began in 2009 when I got my first iPhone. Um, and for years, I'd been carrying a D200 everywhere I went, which is kind of crazy. Big DSLR, but I always wanted a camera with me to take photos. So when I got my first iPhone, I kind of made that realization that, well, this is really cool. I can snap an image and on the go, be able to share it and have a lot of fun. Um, so I quickly stopped carrying my D200 with me everywhere I went, only when I needed to, and just kind of really embraced what you could do with such a small little package. Um, so I want to just share a few images that have been my faves over the past few months, and then I'll give you a few of my tricks and tips. Cool? Um, so this image is from a beach not too far from where I live, and actually near where Kenna is at. Um, I'm a big fan of taking walks on there any day that I can, and in this instance, I kind of had a little bit of patience and waited for the moment to unfold when the subject matter got a little bit into the light, and then I snapped it. Um, this is from Cannon Beach. Now, as photographers, sometimes we got to get up freaking early in the morning to really capture a scene like this. So this is Cannon Beach, which is down in Oregon. I got up at about 4.30 in the morning so that it could be at the beach in a spot that could be interesting to shoot while the sun rose. So this is probably maybe 5.30 or something like that in the morning. I love how still the water is, and it's just really kind of like a calming composition. This is from the same beach, probably an hour or so later. Um, this is a panorama, as you can see, but it's not taken with the iPhone panorama. It's actually taken with um, five individual horizontal images and then stitched together in an app called Auto Stitch. Um, here's Smith Tower, the Space Needle with the little graphical elements thrown in, Skyscraper Downtown, New York City cabs on the go, and another shot of the Space Needle. So these are all created on the iPhone, all edited on the iPhone. Um, so I just want to take a moment to talk about composition, but I'm not going to really talk about it too much because Friday, John is going to tell you everything you need to know about composition. So I just want to take a moment to share a few of the elements that I think are important in imagery and tell all you guys, make sure you tune out on Friday and get the details from him because those elements, those um, processes, you can apply to your mobile images. So the rule of thirds finding balance, leading lines, looking for symmetry and patterns, looking at your foreground and your background and how they can play with one another, changing your viewpoint, stand up, sit down. This depth of field that you see, this kind of depth was created on the iPhone, so it is possible if you have enough distance. Find fun ways to frame your, your subject matter. And then have fun with it. This whole thing for me has been a long experiment on just being creative and allowed me to really reach and do things I hadn't found out how to do in other platforms. So who here has taken a snapshot of your lunch or your dinner? All of you just about, OK. So challenge yourself to take better photos. Look for the light. Look and see how you can kind of change it up compositionally. Look for your light. Play with it. These were taken with Hipstamatic. They have a foodie pack. It's fantastic. Take portraits of your friends or Creative Live instructors in this case. <laughs> Recognize Jim there on the left. Um, again, have fun with it. Engage your subjects just like you would a regular portrait. OK, confession time. Who's done a selfie? Some of you, everybody, everybody, okay, I love it. So challenge yourself to take better selfies. Find patience. When you go to a scene, so I love going to parks in Seattle. Um, this is probably my favorite park. It's called Golden, Golden Gardens, and it's just beautiful there. Um, it's beautiful in color, but for these images, I really felt like black and white suited them. I love playing with the shadows and the light um, and waiting for scenes to unfold. I love that in the photo on the left, the runners are going one direction and the people walking are going another direction. 
Um, and then the photo on the right, there's just kind of this dude standing there. I think he's wearing a cowboy hat. Um, but you just kind of wonder, what's he thinking about? What's happening there? So what's your story? Use your iPhone to tell it. Use your Android phone to tell it. You can do all of this on all of those. So it's a lot of fun. And here's where you can find me. <laughs> all right, everybody. Round of applause for Kate Haley. I'm going to take you. this back. Okay. Thank you so much for, I'm going to not stand in the way <laughs> of uh, Kate's information. Um, thank you so much for sharing your work. I want to ask you a couple of questions because uh -oh. we still have a little bit of time <laughs> okay. here. Um, but uh, just everybody out there, when I first got my iPhone, um, I didn't know what I was doing. And it was this woman who I went to and still do today to ask about what app should I use? Um, what, what is your favorite app? So. Top five apps that you use. Okay, top three apps that okay, you use. Okay, no, I could probably do five. Um, a lot of the images you saw in my presentation were captured with Hipstamatic. Um, it is a paid app. They offer in-app purchases as well. Um, it's a square shooter, so if you use Instagram, I want to share on Instagram, it's really easy to shoot in that app and be able to share it out. Um, I love ViscoCam, which is a free app that offers in-app upgrades. Um, Snapseed. Everybody should have Snapseed, without a doubt. It's free. And it is one of the most powerful editors for mobile devices. You can That's use it on your iPad. What do, you, what do you use it for? I use it for white balance changes, converting mm -hmm. to black and white. You can do uh, point adjustments. You can pick a spot and just adjust that one spot with brightness or contrast or any of that. Um, I also love uh, Pick Effects, P I C F X. There's Ooh, a lot of fun filters one. and textures in there. And um, oh, geez, mixtures. Is another what is it? mextures. How do you spell that? It's textures with an M. Ah. Sort of. Because <laughs> you do, you do. Is that what you use for your textures? Because you lot, do yeah. use a lot of beautiful textures yeah. that I can't always seem to find in the apps yeah. that I use. So whenever I post something online, I always tag the apps that I use nice. to help answer those questions. Because if people do want to know what they do, what I'm using, um, and I figure tagging it is the best way to do it. Um, but Mextures is fun. They have, I think, about 80 or so different combinations that you can put together. Um, and within that app, you can actually stack them on top of one another and control how much um, you can use it or apply it, rather. Right, um, right. But yeah, those are probably the top five that I have as go-tos. Now, Kate Haley, tell me about 365 projects oh, yeah. because <laughs> you have been doing them for quite some time. How many years have you done those? 2010, 11, and 12. I completed a project each year. They were all taken and edited on the iPhone. Um, that's a photo every day. Yeah, so that's a photo a day for those of you who don't know what a 365 project. So it's capturing a photo every day and editing it in some way. So I kind of remain a purist that I edit my iPhone photos on my iPhone or my iPad. I edit my client and you know big girl camera photos <laughs> in Lightroom or Photoshop. So. Um, and then I kind of took last year off, but I still managed to produce, I think, over 300 images last year that I shared um, throughout the year. And then this year, I'm doing another 365 project. Awesome. So, OK, so we're running out of time, but sure. I do want to let people know, Kate, tell me about what you, because you do, you review apps. You also teach classes. Where yep. can people find out more? So just katehaley.com. My blog is the default page. There's tutorials, app reviews and just other stuff that I'm doing. So I like to travel, so sometimes I post photos from other cities. Um, and then I did just start doing workshops again this year, and uh, my next one is actually this weekend. So This weekend, if you are in the Seattle area and you want to learn more from this woman, uh, check that out on your website. Yep. Kate, thank you so much. Thank I you. swear you are the iPhone queen. That's Aww. how I talk about <laughs> you always. So I'm just thrilled that we got the opportunity to bring you upstage. And you're, like I said, you're employee number seven. I'm number eight, so <laughs> you got one up on me there. Thanks. All right, thanks everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Kate.